Warning, this video is all about truck stuff. No BMX in this one. We get a lot of requests for us to do some more truck stuff, so I decided to film some more videos per week to put out. So you guys like the BMX stuff? Don't click on this video and don't watch it. We got another BMX video coming out Friday. All right, truck guys, enjoy the video. All right, as you guys saw in the video the other day, Dave went trucking a little too hard. Whole front bumper. It's got this sick downward lean to it now, so. <laughs> Squatted my bumper. Yeah. <laughs> Dave did a reverse squat in the bumper this time around. But we figured out, we were trying to see where it bent the other day, and we, Dave was looking at it, and it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but this is his actual frame that was originally on the truck. It bent in, and then also on top, it kind of like ripped away. So Dave's just gonna cut the bumper off, weld a piece of angle iron on there to make it flat again, and re-weld the whole thing. Start from scratch. Right. I said, I'm kind of excited to film this today, Dave. And he goes, I'm not excited to do this today. You want to just do it? I don't want to do this. I already did it. I already did it. Did it wrong, though. So. Well, you also tried to pull yourself up a dirt sand hill at yeah, 90 degrees. For no reason. <laughs> this looks weird, dude. No winch. Your we truck, got, useless. You got the filming pulling it out. Give me the berm. Oh, man. We're all left. The real aura is here. It's it. perfect. It almost looks Level? like you freaking didn't even do it. <laughs> what do you think, Foreman? How, look at, how good does it look? You just finished. I think I uh, got a little tilt to it, but I think that's the way they're running them these days. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said earlier. <laughs> I got my bumper squatted. It sucks. It's time to get cutting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Trey. <laughs> what the fuck was that shit? Ah, dude, what are you freaking LeBron James? Trey, you need some dust. Wiggle it. Wiggle it. It's gonna come down here right now. Watch my grill. Oh, cool. There it is. Is it heavy? Not really. Oh. Hey, that looks good, dude. See how bent it is? That's so crazy. You bent my frame. So you're gonna put a piece of angle iron on the front of that to keep it to make it flat, or? Yeah, I'm gonna put a piece of angle iron and gusset it so it's stronger. And then yeah, new supports coming off of it. I'm gonna have the supports go farther out. I think they were too far to the back, like Trey said, and I was giving it like too much angle, too much leverage to to bend it. So right now Dave's basically just gonna get all this stuff off, make it as flat as possible, and then start using, over. Using that angle iron right there, I take it. Yeah. I'm gonna weld that in, and then. Start over. So there's a piece of angle iron all fitted up in there. Dave, how, this is your truck, man. You explain what the hell you just did. I'll just put a piece of angle iron on. I'll weld it. Is that magnetic? How the hell is that staying on there like that? I magnetize it. Okay, making sure to play a nice bead real quick. See, Dave, Trey's got just this welder, which his is a flux core welder. Dave's got the gas which makes a bit of a cleaner weld, I'll be honest with you, it does. We're gonna let Dave weld this up, because I know you guys won't get blind by this light, so he's gonna tack it, weld it across, and then we're gonna put the uh, next step on with the back it to the actual plate. Dave, dude, you gotta stop hitting the vape in here, man. Holy! Dude, chill on that thing a little bit. Ain't no sense in smo uh, quitting smoking and then... Dude, hey, I, I filmed a clip of him earlier hitting it, it was insane, I'll just send it to you. Swap Toyota trucks. Oh, damn! We got Trey's truck in here now. As you guys seen in a couple of videos we did in the past, Trey cut out the wheel wells, and we just kind of left it like super raw, terrible metal. We got some sheet metal. Just cutting up all that BS off the old bumper and then we're rewelding. I don't I think it's fine. I think I'm, I don't even need that. Actually, Dave's out here si sizing some things up. 
He's got that Trey Trey signature look going on right now, though. <laughs> Left side's way farther in. Yeah, he's got that four-hour look going on. Ooh. No, there's no look to that. It's, oh, wait, that's right. There's no look. <laughs> no, it has a look. It's called sitting up front of the shop look. The day is basically oh, there, getting this way to see where it's going to go. He's going to mark it and then tack it to the front of this side, weld it, and then weld it to the truck. I think that's what he's doing. That's a, that's I was about to say, you did not even ask Dave if that's that, what he's but doing. That's what we do with yours, and I'm going to hazard a guess he's going to do it the same way. I guess two of those. Look at that. Yeah. And then one in the middle. Oh, we're going to be sturdy now. Oh, that's why you put the notch in. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get it now. I don't know if it's any different, but whatever. It'll be straight for now. Straight for now. And you know that's the best way to test it? Okay. Put that winch up. So Yank yourself alive. up the same hill again, dude. Yeah, exactly, exact same hill. <laughs> hey, guess what? It's still there. It doesn't look that much different than the last update, but Dave's been cutting away at all the pieces that he's going to weld up to his truck right there. Look at that piece. Okay, hold that one up. That one's interesting. That looks like you just, you're just you a full-on fabricator, dude. Damn. Also, Dave just had the last five minutes grinding on that and just picked up with his bare hands. Beast mode. Dave's hand's actually just a welding glove, built in. <laughs> so Dave just got all this stuff in a position, just tacked it on. Now he's gonna finish welding all this. Then he's gonna weld it to the truck, and then we're done. That's it. Yeah. Easy, dude. Easy. Never done. Then she's dialed. I'll never have to work on it again. <laughs> truck is perfect at this point. Ever again. Dave got the freaking bumper up and installed, and getting it welded in there. Hey, we should start a page called Yoda Amateurs. <laughs> not, not Masters, but Amateurs. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Yoda Masters. <laughs> I got a screenshot of Dave. Dave's psyched. He sent Yoda Masters a picture of Dave's truck and they retested it and Dave is hyped. We're in there, baby. Solid. She's back. And these look way better. When Dave did it the last time, he was just learning how to weld. And now he's a master welder on Yoda Masters. Yeah, certified. <laughs> yeah. Dave goes, I was really mad. I, couldn't, I was just getting really mad at it. And then I got, then I'm on Yoda Masters. I'm fine now. Shock me. So I've been getting a ton of DMs asking me what's going on with my Red 4Runner that I had. Yes, a couple months back, I bought that Red 4Runner. It was a turbo 4Runner. Uh, the setup seemed super badass. Everything seemed to be working on it really good. Super in love with that truck. And then randomly one day, obviously I went and drove it around the field, decided to do a bunch of donuts in the truck and I threw a rod bearing. I didn't know that I threw a rod bearing. I went to go drive the truck home. And then one day when I was driving to Sparky's and I was driving back, I threw the rod bearing then and I wasn't able to drive the motor anymore. I was unable to drive the truck anymore. I brought it to one of my buddies. We figured out the motor was unsalvageable and I had to get a new motor. So then I hit up a guy around here who had a motor. I bought a motor off him. Uh, we worked out a deal on the motor. I brought the motor back to my buddy. We put the motor in. We replaced like all the seals and everything like that. Put the motor in, got it running, re realized that the motor had a bad head gasket. So at that point, I took it back from my buddy and brought it to the guy that sold me the motor, which is where it's at now. I brought the motor back to him and said, hey man, I don't know what's going on with it. It's got a bad head gasket. I don't want to put this trouble on my buddy. I'd rather you just look at it since you're the one who sold me the motor. He said, okay, cool. Sounds good. We'll try to figure it out. So a couple weeks uh, of time, we finally figured out what was going on with it. Uh, it did indeed have a bad head gasket. So they redid all that. They remachined the head. I got rid of the turbo because it was causing problems. The internals in that motor weren't built for it. It was not a turbo truck to begin with. And somebody slapped the turbo on after the fact, which the truck just can't handle. And I didn't want to risk throwing another rod bearing in the future. So I wanted to bring the truck back to completely stock. That being said, the person that I previously bought the truck from had taken apart this truck and pretty much put whatever parts they could find, what it seemed, laying around the shop to somehow make this turbo setup work. So it was like a Frankenstein truck. So getting it back to stock took an incredibly long time. It was hard to find parts. It was hard to find parts that were working and usable. And it was just became kind of a nightmare. Once we got everything together, we kind of started getting through the thing. We started finding leaks here and there. We're just kind of playing that game for a while. So now the truck has been completely almost stripped from top to bottom, redone almost everything I could think in the front end of the motor, and it should be good if you're watching this video right now by the end of today. It's been months that I have not had this truck. I probably owned the truck for six months and have only had it for two of those months in my actual possession. 
just a lot of stuff went on with it and we're figuring everything out. We got all the leaks under control. Uh, we had an oil leak that was getting into the exhaust end. We fixed that. Uh, we had oil leaks coming out of the thing, so we resealed the head and all that stuff. Fixed all that. Everything that you could possibly think of, we redid. So at this point, the truck should be dialed. Now, there's no saying I'm going to get the truck back and something's not going to be wrong, but I'm hoping today I'll be able to pick up the truck, if not today, sometime by the end of this week, and you guys will be able to see the Red 4Runner come back on in the channel, and I'll finally get to start driving around with these guys because I've been loving doing the truck stuff, and owning Weirdo World has been allowing me to do that. We kind of have a place where we can go drive the trucks around all the time. We want to start going to some off-road parks and doing some fun stuff like that, along with the riding, obviously. So we just like the trucks, and we like to ride, so we like to have best of both worlds. A little bit of truck stuff, a little bit of riding stuff, random slip side stuff. This channel just kind of looks like us just doing whatever the hell we want. So hopefully I'll get my truck back, and you guys will have some of that stuff, because I it's been too long, and I just can't wait to drive my truck. Yeah, on that note, I'm out.